Hey guys, you are listening to this is the shit Sister Shit Pod with Corde and Dami. Who are you smiling at your phone? No one. Uh, Honestly, I swear, no one's talking to me. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean it. Yes, I look this good and no one talks to me. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to ruffle feathers, but I will not be cutting that out. That will be, that will be making the final edit. Okay, um, that we make jo- the final edit. I'm not even joking. She doesn't want to ruin her market, and that's fine. But cool, let's move on. Let's talk about what happened this weekend, because I feel like we need to talk about what happened this weekend. What Go happened on. this weekend? Oh Somebody my gosh, guys! I turned 25. <laughs> GT is so silly. I love it. Um, no. But guys, yeah, it was my 25th birthday Birthdays on the nice. Monday that's just gone past. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, Monday the night. Let's just say Monday the night. Yeah, Monday the night. Because I feel like by the time this comes out, yeah, it would have been somewhere. That's why I said let's just say. Yeah, makes sense. Monday the night. Um, yeah, ten twenty-five. Mm. So I celebrated on the Sunday, and um, okay. So my other friend, who I'm really really close to as well, Temi, shout out Temi. She turned twenty-five as well. Mm. Um, so it was her birthday celebration on Saturday. Yeah, it was mine on Sunday. Um, that's my good sis. Actually, shout out we Temi. Can, yeah, we were outside. I was outside. Yeah. I ain't mad at that. Listen, I love being outside. What's there at home? I hate home. You know that that no nah, man. That TikTok. I'm I a, hate home, nigga. <laughs> I'm a um work hard, play harder, babe. Type of babe. Sorry. Yeah. yeah work yeah. hard, play hard. Even if um, you don't work hard, still play hard. I, no, if you don't work hard, you minimize the play. <laughs> yes, now it's all in um, it's all in relation. Moderation. Like, okay, if you haven't worked hard, you can still play, but not as hard as uh-uh. if you've worked hard. But still play, oh, and I'm about that. I swear down. Like, you have to. You, you have to, to enjoy your life. life. Um, Can't come and kill yourself. But yeah, ten twenty five. Yeah. So that's how this week. That's what this week has been. A, a week of gratitude. Mm. Um. So what did I do on Sunday? We went for dinner. We went for dinner. I went to Hakkasan, which mm. was. I don't think I'll be running back there. Yeah. Um, the service I think I prefer poor. Yaucha. They're Yaucha's both part of Hacker always, Group. Yaucha's always um, number Yaucha's one. Yaucha's always been like my one of my top, one of my favourites. No, my favourites. Yeah. Um, High-end, like, pan... Af- Pan-Asian. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. Pan-African, what? <laughs> Pan-Africanism. <laughs> I'm going to put the flag up <laughs> to pan be a troll. Pan-Asian cuisine. Mm. I really enjoy Yaucha. Um, I think Yaucha is better than Hakkasan based on what I experienced on Sunday. Um, Portion sizes at Yaucha are bigger. Service bigger, at Yaucha service is, better. is better. They will go above and beyond for you. All I don't the know time. what was in Auntie's stew that day, but she was not given. Um, what was in her given. stew? Maybe locust beans, Lo- uncooked. <laughs> somebody like must somebody have upset her defecated that day, in her that stew that because right. um, she wasn't given the nicest of vibes, guys. It was like time to pay. We hadn't finished paying and she's walked away from the table. Everyone's like confused. Are. When like, it was time to take orders, she was proper like, no, we're doing food now. And I'm like, okay, cool. But like, some people oh, did might want to put that? their drinks. Yeah, want to put their drinks towards. To I you wasn't guys. I was going to say that to you. I wasn't going to make a big deal of it. But I was like to her, it'd be nice if we could also do drinks as well so you know who's is who. Um, yeah, it was just, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. But Very much roll your eyes, but good company. Of course. Meant it was, it was fine. Um, and like, afterwards. It was really intimate. Afterwards, it was intimate. We, we turned up. So. And then afterwards, we went to a lounge in East London. I'm not going to name no names. I mean, by saying East London, we know which lounge it is. I mean, there's a few. Like, w- no, there isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, do with that what you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had Fill a good time blank. for the most part. Yeah. I really enjoyed my night. Mm-hmm. Um, As you should. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I'm, I'm happy because I was actually going to do something bigger. Which, mm. like, if you know me, you know that. 25, she's probably going to have a party. But I didn't. Not yeah. this year. Um it up. I could have. Um, but in the, like, in the grand scheme of things, I just thought, do you know what? I actually want to celebrate 25 with... Nearest and people. dearest. People, yeah. With my nearest yeah. and dearest. Like, these are basically my sisters mm. outside of me and Corriday. Yeah. Um, these are people that I consider sisters as well. So it was nice to be with them, like... For everyone to come out with me mm-hmm. in the way they did it was yeah. really nice no everyone um, showed up and showed out though it yeah. was a proper nice like i had a great time trust me i had a great time um <laughs> no like we all had a great time it that was, was good it was good um good music 
yeah, like the music there is usually quite good. Drinks. Good. We were able to drink. We were able to eat. We were able to, you know, party. <laughs> there are serious responsibilities in being a party girl, and I feel like we all achieved them and exceeded them. We were real party girls. Yeah. Um. But then I also enjoyed seeing you be loved and be like with your with your closest friends like that intimate setting mm. it's nice like to see that happen because it makes me think ah like okay i like this girl somehow she's my friend <laughs> but there are other people that also like her somehow so yeah. no nah, it was nice it was nice it was nice um it's crazy though 25 big two yeah. five uh, part is part of 25 25 <laughs> plus now that's so like ill yuck um yeah the rebrand 25 plus because we've been taking our time to and i'm sure i'm gonna be 24 for a long time <laughs> i don't think i'm yeah she's got though. less than less <laughs> less than a month less to go. Than a month. i think it's even two weeks now um yeah like i'm about to be 25 as well so i'm just thinking like yikes like i'm really an oap like i might as well be on old age pension you're like, not OAP. <laughs> <laughs> please quarter, be serious to life is quarter quarter life crisis. Way through. <sighs> oh my gosh have you had that a quarter life crisis yeah because i feel like everyone always tweets about how they have like a quarter, quarter life, life crisis, crisis that gets a, just before 25 and you start to i didn't have that like when you start acting out not that acting out but you you get into this maybe like mindset oh my gosh my life it. i need to get my life together um, i feel like i need I to constantly get, have the angst though like i constantly feel like oh my god like i didn't I have any be doing more i didn't have like any anxiety turning 25 oh no i don't feel any anxiety i'm even looking forward to it Seth. Like, loving I'm it excited like i'm loving it. getting older yeah no i feel like i'm loving getting older because it brings me closer to my dreams in the sense of i'm going to be a doctor i want to get married i want to have children i'm excited in that sense right but the responsibilities of getting older these are the things i feel like this is what throws people (laughs) off in that quarter life crisis fine that's the part that i'm not happy about like damn i want to even go back to the room (laughs) I don't even want to You know when babies come out And they cry I don't even want to be there I want to be inside Like I would love to be a baby That would be amazing Cruising Those aliens. Catching crews I swear like Yeah no It's insane Like being an adult Is an insane Is an insane concept No one teaches no. you No one tells you What you need to know No one gives you That's a my handbook. concept I wish there was a book That they'd give me That I could read and study And be like Yep checklist 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 I've done this I've done that I've done that But like You very much have to Forge your own path You have to but as we've as we've Forge grown, ahead. and it's like, period. Shout out to Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Ty. Ty. <laughs> um, you have to forge your head. <laughs> you have to try and that cons- like, you have to actually carve your own. You're carving your own destiny. Legacy. You're actually working towards your own dreams and your own aspirations, and you're creating your own story. But in doing that, you obviously learn things. Along I think the that way. Th- that's like you start to think about <laughs> these things me, closer to like when you do turn twenty five. Yeah. Or when you get to like your mid twenties. But I think I've always thought of that. So it's not like, oh my God. It, like it's dawned on you. Suddenly. No. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to say. I think I'm always in that period of thinking I've been, about, oh, like, I've been thinking about this. Or what can I do? Or where am I at? What needs to be better? Da, 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 da. Like mm-hmm. always continually doing like an internal yeah. audit, like an internal audit or evaluation of what, what's going on. So I don't feel like I'm this, it's necessarily hit me like a quarter life crisis. Mm-hmm. But um, there's obviously things that, we've learned along the way like as we've been going through this no like we're getting to 20 you're 25 now i'm getting to 25 but like there's obviously lessons we've learned and i felt it would be amazing you thought it would be cute to discuss those lessons like to go through them so we have obviously prepped this in advance we spoke about it um Um, this is but hopefully they are also like things that you can (coughs) relate with or if you're not there yet things to think about food for thought yeah food for thought perfect perfect (laughs) haha Um, um, so this is 25 lessons in 25 years. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, so I'll go first. Go on. As I'm the resident OAP right now. Listen, she's 25 <laughs> plus. It um, actually, like, it, it baffles me. I can't believe we're 25. Because we used to... We've been down on in Twitter. the trenches since oh, what age? In, on Twitter, we used to say, oh, them 25 pluses. Da, 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 like, why am I if 25 plus? Why can't they just be like... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We used to be like, why would they do that? That's weird. But oh my we're days! We're actually twenty five. We're gonna be twenty five. Those are the now. events we're gonna be attending. Yeah, Smelly. and I love it. Mm-mm. But then soon they'll be twenty seven plus, and then they'll lock us out again. Or twenty eight <laughs> plus, twenty nine. Yeah, plus. they need to calm down with all of that. <laughs> um, no, they're gatekeeping enjoyment, and I hear it because they don't want the young bucks running around messing things up for them. Fine, fine. Do you? Maybe no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, number one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> number one. So I said. 
So I'm doing the first 12, Credit is going to do the last 12, and then we're going to come together on the 25th one. Oh my God, no. I thought you were going to do one, then I'll do one. Then you do one, then I do one. That's not what you said this morning, love. Yeah, I did. I did. No, because that's why I asked you. I said I thought we were alternating. Yeah, one, three, five. But I was like, just write your 12, then I'll write oh. my 12, then we'll just... Guys are lied. We're going to alternate because I prefer that. Yeah, no, I feel like that makes this sense. This morning when you said... No, you I, just said, I, was just thinking, what? I just said, just type it, innit? Guys, this is what goes into podcast planning. Because when you sent me that message in the morning, I said... This is not what I want to do. That so that you know, like, where your last one was. And it's like, I don't look at it thinking, damn, like, this ain't mine. This ain't mine. Blah, blah, blah. But I know, okay, cool. I just said my first one. Okay, guys, we're going to alternate. Um, I'll go first and she'll go after me. So my first one, first one was, oh, no, I love that. Oh, this is what we were supposed to do originally anyway. I'm, I'm happy we um, stuck with that. This no, is good to, mis- to do podcasts with people that you know. Cause yeah, no, because I think we just misunderstood each other. But now it's definitely our brains, that. Our brains you are. Yours, I say mine. Da, 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 da. In sync. Um, so number one is life is a journey it's not a race mm. I said it's important to build on your fundamentals like your character yeah. your qualifications what's going to help you in the future yeah. your skills um, and in doing that learning to be content in that point of in that stage of life that you are in right. it's, it's not a race That's crazy. I mean they like to say run your own race they do that's but crazy though because mine was literally my first point was literally progress not perfection yeah so i feel like that encapsulates perfection it. i think it's you will never get to perfection the concept of getting there you are not overrated. jesus christ yeah it will um, not happen for you <laughs> we need to learn to be recovering perfectionists and yeah. begin to enjoy the process of getting there thinking about what progress looks like mm-hmm. and doing the necessaries like you said okay and obviously there. guys there's stages as well mm-hmm. obviously in this part of my life I'm just happy to be finishing my degree. <laughs> After the degree is done, I will think about the next mm, stage of life. Mm. And then I will be content with wherever I am. While I'll try to be content, I'll work towards being content. Yeah, I think work towards being content and not towards being perfect. Because you're going to be working for a very long... You're going to be working endlessly. after you're in the ground. Uh, if that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what's yours? Oh, um, you said it. Yeah. But yeah, so number two. Give us number two now. No, you number two. My number two was... um progress not, not perfection. perfection so number three so number three ah. this is a little janky but we're gonna get into it and when we get into the flow then it will roll off the tongue but okay so this, is, this kind of goes off of what we've just said mm. do not compare your journey to other people's journeys mm. everyone has been drawn a different straw right yeah yeah <laughs> sometimes in the season of life you might have the short straw mm. in the next season of life you might have the longest straw true that's how it goes you can play catch up then that's Literally right. What it is. Um, number four. Number four. It's okay if you don't have a passion, but it's important to spend now trying to figure out mm-hmm. what that is. Um, like there must be something that you really enjoy doing, even if it's tight. Like it doesn't seem like it's big or it's amazing. Yeah. Or it's, like, profound. It doesn't have to be or that, something that's going to make you the most money. Yeah, because a lot of the time, I don't know. Like I'm, I don't know if I feel the feel like your passion should always be paid like Mm-mm. sometimes there's some things that you should just reserve for do reserve doing be, just because you love doing it so like figure out what it is you love i for a long time didn't really really feel like i had a passion for anything or a, like but i feel I like you have a passion like, now huh you have i have passion. passions i would say i don't know do i have a passion i think I fashion will always be your passion Fashion is my passion, yeah, but I do feel like working in the industry. Not working in industry. I'm just saying you have kind a, of make, drew, I know you have a passion for fashion. You yeah. don't I don't think you necessarily have to work. That's what in I'm trying to passion. say. I don't feel like it's t- all passions are to be paid and I think I need to go and really love That's crazy. I need to go and When I think about Cody, I think her passion is fashion. Yeah, but I have to go and I now I'm in a stage currently where I need to go and re really, like learn to love it again cuz I don't love it right now given my You don't love it because of the industry or because I took that step from moving passion into paid. Like, I feel like I, I oh, so you need my to love it again. for it. So I need to go back. And okay, fair. So I can it. see why you say That's that. That's why it's like, right now, I'm just like a bit, mm, and for a long time before then, I also was a bit, mm, like, not too sure. Um, I think it's your passion in the sense that I feel like you just, you just always know what's up when it comes yeah. to fashion. Yeah. Like, yeah. naturally. <laughs> you just always know. Yeah. Like, when I think of Cordy, I just always think, she just knows what's next in terms of fashion. She knows what's I'm up screaming. and she knows what's in fashion all the time. <laughs> I never understood it because 
yeah no and the the passion you have is professional is yeah, it's a lot yeah um i do love it but i'm i'm learning to love it again i'm getting yeah I'm getting back to where i was before um i started working in in fashion but yeah i think um that was me yes yeah, okay to not have a passion but spend some time trying to figure out what it is you really love doing <sighs> so i'm on five okay um work on yourself mentally mm. um make sure you're continuously working on a better you mm. so when i say this guys therapy counseling mm. Mm. please please invest please. in those things they please. are so important please please no race for this one everybody <laughs> because everybody has something mm. and even if you don't have something i think it's healthy to talk, um, about. To talk mm-hmm. about your life to talk about your thoughts mm-hmm. to talk about what you believe in uh, even in talking about it yeah <laughs> you begin to realise there are things that are worth unpacking. Do you know mm-hmm, what I mean? Like mm-hmm, things mm-hmm. that you didn't really consider traumas or things that you didn't really consider like <laughs> issues. But, but I do feel like on them, social media, everything think, is trauma now. You never know, trauma, trauma, trauma can be rooted in, in the littlest <laughs> thing. Like you never know how, like, how deep it's going to cut someone or yeah. what, how it's going to manifest later down the line. They mm-hmm. come into a similar, similar situation <laughs> and they're feeling particular types of feelings like, right, never, why would I feel this way? But I do feel like it's important to talk and it's important to invest it's in important counseling to, talk. to work yeah. on your mental health. I you started, know? I started some counseling mm. um, this year and it's, I feel like it's been so, Beneficial. um, yeah, I wanted to use a use what synonym. Oh, for beneficial, <laughs> fair, <Yeah. laughs> something with more vim. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been really beneficial, and I yeah. feel like it came at a perfect time, like right before I turned twenty five. Mm. So maybe there's that's why there's a bit of peace with turning twenty five. Yeah, but no quarter to life crisis because you've begun to you <laughs> began to, to unpack, unpack my things. load from before I turned twenty five. But um, letting go of that baggage, fair, yes, fairs, fairs. number six. Um, nothing will get done. If you don't do the work, That's little right. actions make a big difference. Like my mom used to always say, little drips make the ocean. Like yeah, you have drips to and drabs. Do things in drips and drabs. Do things constantly, but do little things. Don't mm-hmm. overwhelm yourself with the fact that you've got so much work to do because then you're just not going to do anything. You just end up procrastinating. Oh, that's me right now. <laughs> um, oh, um, if I oh. was to really like expose myself i will also say the same thing but i'm trying to no i'm, to I'm cool with expose myself i know i'll enough. get it done we'll get it done but it's just like damn the question is will i no nah, we will find out soon in the next episode <laughs> because i'm more <laughs> that I, I get myself i had this thing where i would always get overwhelmed with the amount that needs done yeah. and then just end up not doing anything and that is and so you, detrimental you run into the mitigation circumstances helter skelter <laughs> looking for one way or another one loophole oh sure my that, days like, i can get an extension on work if it's at uni or whatever it is like having a yeah. lot on my plate and then feeling overwhelmed nah just do a little bit little action little make a every day a little bit goes a mm-hmm. long way so yeah that was, def- that was my number that was my number six so number seven, seven. is be able to take criticism mm. constructive criticism i mean yeah not people that just criticize you for criticizing you's sake yeah especially from those who you love you to filter that though like, yeah to g- create a filter for what's constructive and what is just not coming from a place of love yeah you know so I mean? that's why i said especially from those who love you and mm. have your best interests mm-hmm. at heart mm-hmm. i feel like yeah um short and sweet yeah mine is um you can be kind and honest at the same time that's number eight that kind of yeah number eight bounces off yours you can be kind and you can be honest at the same time there's a i had this thing like i'm telling the truth though yeah i'm just being real though but like you have to be able to see, like there's something about that you or your me? words with soft no for me no g- genuinely like i'm talking about in life like up to 25 or more, me before i don't think i was necessarily the i feel like you're person. more sensitive than me um i've had to learn that though mm-hmm. i absolutely was not that i will tell you how it is straight up no mincing of words no seasoning my words with salt no nothing and it will come across so brash and harsh i'm still and struggling nice. with that and it'd be like yeah i'm telling the truth though so what like i'm being honest but there's being honest and there's also being kind and there's also like learning to be sensitive and these types of things. So for me that's something that's a lesson that i've learned that you can be both honest and you can also be kind you don't always have to be like really like harsh I guess it's frank, to put it. frank time. yeah exactly yeah um i think there's a time and place of being frank actually mm, mm, mm. so my number nine mm-hmm. 
Um, work hard, play harder. Um, actually, no, I love it. Do you know who actually taught me this? Maronica's mom. Um, she always used to say it to me, and I never. I was just like, what's this auntie saying? And then I got to like more intense parts of my life, and I said, yeah, <laughs> I have worked too hard for me to not, not enjoy have a good time. Yeah, my life thereafter. So it's you have to work hard. I I will always advocate for hard work. Yeah, don't be lazy. Um. I'm not talking about those people who have been born into wealth and don't have to do much. Their mm. their strife is different to our strife. That's them drawing a different straw. You get it, like exactly different earlier. straws. Totally different um, situations. There's joy in knowing you deserve what you have because you worked diligently for it. Mm. I said this same feeling should also allow you to enjoy life also because you know the work you have put in. Right. Um, so yeah, mm. this is obviously subjective. Mm. So approach the statement with care, but I do believe in working hard and playing harder. Yeah, fairs. Um, number 10 Don't make decisions When you're sad Angry Or hungry And the reason I added hungry Is because we've done A little bible study um, At church and we Guys look at go look Esau, at Esau Go um, look at what he did And how he sold his birthright Because he was hungry But I feel like That's a metaphor For us making decisions So when we brashly. don't That we We are Overcome with emotion Or mm-hmm, overcome with the way That mm-hmm, we feel mm-hmm. That we don't consider the value in what we we just do it because it feels like we need to right now as opposed to being Oof, I like, like that having one, you foresight know. I, yeah, like, that. I feel like it's definitely I mean better. being able to Imagine. control your emotions yeah being able to control your emotions not making decisions when you're when you're down bad or when you're angry or when you're like upset or whatever it is take a minute to take a minute before and to assess like yeah should I should I not type of thing yeah. so yeah that was my and I think that even that adds 10. on to what you said about um being kind mm. when you're being honest yeah um I think for me that's what's kind of helped me because mm. I'm yeah Frank I'm not nice <laughs> <laughs> no you are um, working on it you are working on I will it. say what's on my mind yeah because I just need to say it like how it, I see it in my head mm. but um I think yeah, she always used to get onto me this, for this. So I thought, you know what? Let me actually start taking a minute mm-hmm. to think before I speak. But now when I take the minute, people still have something to say. They do. If you they don't speak. I'm, no, I'm processing. Let me get to where I'm going. And then we'll, we'll circle back. We'll talk. <laughs> they always will. They always will. But I feel like that, that moment of consideration, that moment yeah. of taking a that taking. So then a you second, start speaking anyhow, words, anyway. when they're in the atmosphere, they can't be taken back. Yeah. You can try and beg, please, I didn't mean it, but you said it. Mm -hmm. and you said it and it was like it's okay for it to be up here but then you need to put the bring the temperature down a little bit and speak coolly speaking with a hothead is crazy because it's like in the heat of like the heat of talking in the heat of emotion or making Mm -hmm. decisions in the heat of emotion they're always like i feel like there's always doesn't end well it doesn't end it doesn't end well Um, don't let anyone tell you that it ends well like and if you if you know that there are people around you who are like that maybe you need to reconsider like how often you're mm. in their presence because mm. the birds of the same feather they flock together <laughs> it's it's easy for that to rub off on you mm. um mm. and i think that's why it's easier for me to take time because i'm like oh cray is always like that let me actually try and mimic something and that's good consider it yeah i think um, that's fine that's absolutely fine it's number 11 yeah it is um so i said make sure there's someone you're accountable to mm. for me it's my relationship with god yeah um, I can rely on the Bible or fellowship to mm. knock me back into position, right? Or give me advice, or speak to me when I need to be spoken to, or give constructive criticism yeah. when I need it. I like that, and that's always going to help my future. Um, people that are not accountable to anyone, those are people that you need to run from. <laughs> no, because they won't listen. They're not teachable. Yeah, Te- having a teachable spirit. Ah, oh, they're, they're not it's teachable. But it's so important to make sure that you have people that understand they they need to be accountable to someone or something yeah and learning um yeah. someone can tell you something and you might you might have a memory you're like oh what this person is saying is actually true mm. or this is actually making me have to rethink mm. how i think yeah um so that's why i think it's important to allow yourself to be accountable to other yeah. people no don't go around living life thinking you're untouchable you get you're it? not yeah. that person Mm-mm. if you go around living like there's someone one day that's going to put you in your place and it's not going to be nice <laughs> so always be humble in that sense and be yeah. able to to listen to someone that's higher up um mm. obviously the right people guys wise counsel wise counsel not just counsel from anywhere yeah or the internet yeah yeah <laughs> number 12 Think about life in seasons. Um, I've had yeah. to learn that the hard way. Yeah. Um, 
I, like I said before, like had this thing where I'd get overwhelmed with the amount of things that are going on. Um, and I feel like thinking about, okay, cool, this is a season where maybe I'm training for something. This is a season where I am executing. Mm-hmm. This is a season where I'm, you know, like... I need to be by, uh, kind of by myself. There's a season where I'm I'm good to be around other people. Like yeah. there's like things are seasonal and seasons obviously differ in length. We know our seasons to be like winter, summer, autumn, mm. spring. But like it in might, life, it might be there for autumn and winter. You're you're in a particular place. Bro, a season can be two years long. A season <laughs> literally. can be five years long. But literally, like, you're in a season right and now, and there's always something to learn to learn and to look forward to there's always going to be a shift there's always going to be a change because when you break things down they're easier to digest i think that's just it so yeah that was that was my number 12 number 13 please okay number 13 for me is so funny that we say this but i think it's true anyways look (laughs) look after your body okay so yeah this is i said (laughs) this is self-explanatory yeah Um, it is I said the benefits of looking after yourself will always outweigh the negatives, mm. even if there if there are even any negatives. I don't think there are any negatives. But what to looking after your body? No, not really until it becomes an unhealthy obsession. Yes, yes. Until okay, yeah. I think that's the only time it might be negative. Right. But like, <laughs> I mean, your body's a temple, mate. You're gonna have exactly. to exactly. So you got you got to treat it like a, word, a temple. That's a word for me. Um, yeah. Char. Let's move swiftly on. <laughs> <that> number fourteen. <laughs> number fourteen. Um, yeah. Do not seek validation in shiny things. I put shiny things, but I feel like that could be anything. Like likes on Instagram. Um, people liking you. This that and the other those shiny things someone else's marriage yeah like don't seek val- no seek <laughs> no but your own marriage you can seek validation in no, the in way your, that it appears. Like in your own marriage rather than seeking validation and no but i'm saying even that shouldn't be what validates you what i was trying to say is there's nothing wrong with having goals like mm-hmm. you want to get married yes but when you get there and get i was just being goal, shady Sorry, say that guys. again i said i was just being shady don't mind me always being shady always 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 but like i feel like <laughs> wrong with having having goals yeah you no, post have a goals. picture and you want to get an x amount of likes if you are working towards being a content creator but your validation and your worth cannot be rooted in that because there are going to be times where one you fall short or two you get there and you don't feel like amazing you're just going to chase after that validation again and again and again and it becomes a very unhealthy cycle oh, i use gosh. a very trivial so my, sorry no guys that was on purpose i'm just i just she had said, to yawn i'm not even up. tired she said shut the hell I'm up not Let's tired. Move on. it was an accident um, it was an accident I'm nah just, you kill me leave me alone <laughs> oh lord oh lord that was unprovoked um, sorry you were saying something yeah no <laughs> i was basically just trying to say like don't um attribute your worth and attribute and see your worth validation to these, ten, to these things, things that material are like things material don't even be materialistic. the things that are not material <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i shouldn't have I'm materialistic sometimes. I'll be real. So can I be? Like, I think everybody has that element of super. Like, you can't say you're some not people superficial don't in one though. way, shape, or form. No, superficial. There's everything is a scale, a spectrum, right? Everything's a spectrum. sliding scale. So, like, some people are very much on the end where they're totally superficial, but well, I have cannot balance, see the things guys. that aren't material. But I feel like everybody wants good, good. things, and that that like, what is good to them obviously differs. But like, yeah. everybody wants that. I I can't think of somebody that would say I prefer not to the people the, sorry i prefer i prefer <laughs> bad things if you say you prefer bad things stay away from me not like even not even bad things but i'm just saying some because when i'm thinking about materialistic things i'm thinking about the finer things in life yeah okay the luxuries but even being like at a stage of contentment where you've got you still want everything you need the moment you don't have that you're searching it. for that you mm-hmm. get it and you're gonna set a goal and you but your validation don't cannot be obsessive be, you can't be like seeking validation in those things or yeah look like they can't be what once makes you get you. it you're just going to be chasing the next high mm-hmm. once you don't get there you're going to be feeling like you've been hit with a ton of bricks you don't feel great but like you're worth you're worth more than that you're worth more than these things so i think mm-hmm. that was what my um you are is. right so what number are we on now 15 16 15 I was 14. <laughs> yeah, you, she's 15. We said that we were going to get better at this, but clearly not. Anyway, gonna, Cher, the numbers are going to start popping up. This on is the 15, screen. right? Yeah, you're 15. Mine was 15. Okay, so I was pointing to, uh, meant to, point to me. Um, be patient with the people around you. Mm-hmm. 
um, make sure your values align. It mm. makes e- it makes for easier relationships. Mm. Um, yes, I'm not the most patient person. Right. I'm very much like I used to be one strike and you're out. <laughs> now it's like okay, two, three strikes. She's getting more depends, and more lenient. Depends on who you are, to be honest. Mm. I'm joking, but um, no, nah, I feel like I'm very like regimental when it comes to people that offend me mm. um but it depends though it really depends and i feel like that's why i say make sure your values align mm-hmm. because then it's easier to be like okay with this person i've had a slip up because we're human beings yeah and everyone has their bad days yeah. where they're gonna even me like i'm not as much as i'm regimental it's it's like kind of like Dami, can you even be that regimental? Because sometimes you do, sometimes you do that. Right, you got to check yourself. So that's sometimes. what I'm saying. Yeah, you need to be patient. Like our parents are so patient with us. Mm-hmm. When I think about some of the things that I did to my mom, I'm just thinking if my child did that to me, I'm not sure where me and that child would be. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it's important to be patient. So learn to be. It's important to be patient. Mm. So learn to be patient. You will never go wrong being a patient person. Absolutely, giving people grace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, giving your friends grace. Because it's so easy to be, like, quick to a fence because you think, but this person's supposed to be my guy. Why mm-hmm. are they moving like this? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you me? doing this? What, like, we're supposed she's to... done it to me. Da, 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 da. We, we That's take element offense of quicker. Pride. We take offense quicker when the people are, mm-hmm. like, in close proximity. Pride is not um, a good thing, guys. So it's important to give people grace. Yeah, I like that. My number 16, number 16 was write the vision, make it plain. Habakkuk yes. was... I think was, it's Habakkuk. Yeah, Habakkuk. He was preaching. He was actually Also, spitting. he, I thought it was a woman. <laughs> No, it's a priest or a prophet. I can't remember. I Habakkuk. Think it's a prophet. I think it's a prophet, Habakkuk, that wrote that book. But yeah. Um, oh my gosh, right yeah, it's like a man of prophet. Um, yeah. Sometimes you don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, you don't know what you're after. You don't know what you're feeling until you write it down, um, until it's in front of you. Mm-hmm. And then you can begin and then to you evaluate. Can work towards it. Because well. when there are thoughts in your head, Oh. One thought comes, another thought comes, the two of them converge. But that's not originally what you were thinking. You were thinking two separate things. Mm-hmm. So write them down separately. Then if they can merge, fine. Let it be done when it's in front when it's in front of your face. Not all up here. You can't keep everything up here. It's just never gonna work. Um give your brain some time to rest mm-hmm. and write these things down. Um but yeah, I think that was my that was it. I don't have anything else to say on that. Seventeen. Yep. Um Okay, yeah, this goes nicely with what you said. Um, try to plan ahead mm. without forgetting about mm. the present because mm. we've spoken about that on the pod as well. Mm. Um, planning ahead is always good. I think I don't think you can go wrong with planning ahead. Yeah. Um, just work towards it mm-hmm. and understand that you need to live in the present mm-hmm. first before you get to where you're going. Mm. So you can plan ahead, but also take every day as it comes. Mm-hmm. Short and sweet. Next. Love that. Number 18. <laughs> um learn to let things go um we've been wrong i can talk about multiple times where i feel like i've taken things personal and the only person that suffered because of that is me Mm -hmm. do you get it like i feel like i've been wrong i feel like something hasn't gone my way i feel like this and the other fine but like it needs to get to a stage where you let things go like harboring you know pain harboring anger uh, it's only stress on your body like, not the yeah person. like holding grudges like you're the only person that's stressed <sighs> is you those things manifest physically they manifest emotionally in a way that you treat other people around yeah. you and you never know sometimes because you are holding on to a grudge you could be pushing the people that love you away Ooh. or do you know what i mean like you're sorry letting, you're missing opportunities i need to say something to you as well not to you sorry <laughs> to everyone <laughs> talk to me talk but to me just based on what she said yeah <laughs> I because grudges the word grudges stood out to me because I mm. feel like I'm not someone that holds grudges. I can mm. I can mm. that's a lot. You're working on it. You're working on it. You're working on it. You're working on it. Let's I can hold grudges. It depends on the person. There's one particular person that you know that I can hold a grudge with. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Hear no evil. See no evil. <laughs> see no evil. <laughs> but I wanted to even say like apart from holding grudges against people, I think sometimes we hold grudges against ourselves. Mm. Um, we tend to, I because I do this a lot. Um, yeah, holding grudges against yourself, and then that also manifests in how you talk to people, mm. how you receive people. Um, because I'm talking about like in instances where I'm really snappy, mm. and that might be because I've annoyed myself or I've done something, and then maybe I need to go out with you or I need to go out with my other girls. And yeah. it's like, I'm not the best, like I'm not in a good mood right now mm. and you're going to feel that I'm not in a good mood. Yeah. 
Um, so just being able to let things wash over you. Yeah, let things go. Let things go. Let things go, I agree. I We agree yeah. with that. So that was mine. What number was that? 18. We're on 19 now. So what, on 19? Okay, it sounds like we're on the right number. Making progress. <laughs> um, try to... Oh. Oh. What were you going to say? Be consistent in everything you do. Um, try to drill it into your DNA and be regimental about mm. it. Um, this kind of seeps into being disciplined. Mm. Um, yeah, there's like no what's the word? Like stop making excuses. Like let's let's actually do what we need to do. Just um, and and actually stand on it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking to both of us, not just you. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Of course, I. It's integrity, isn't it? Integrity to oneself. Like yeah. we were saying the other time, um, it's important to be disciplined and like just stand on it man god it's so easy to, to it's easy for us to say it though but, oh it's easy to say much easier said than done but i do feel we like you're saying this like let your words mean things yeah yeah, yeah, yeah don't yeah. just speak if you say you're gonna do something do, do it because one thing about me i'm a try my uh, my level best to make sure if i've told you i'm doing something i'm getting it done mm-hmm. so because i don't like not even that you've told You've told someone that you're doing something. This time we're telling ourselves. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've got to hold this. myself to the same standard the that you're standards. holding when you address other people. Yeah, exactly. You need to address that. yourself. This is what we're talking about in terms of self love, like, because that's the last episode. You need to, this is part of loving yourself. Right, rate yourself. You said the same way you love that person and you said you're going to do this for them, you're mm. going to make sure you do it for them. Yeah. So if you say you're going to do something for yourself, make sure you do it for yourself. Yeah, don't leave yourself you by the wayside. Stupid to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, leaving yourself by the wayside. Number twenty. <laughs> number twenty. I'm going on with your day. That's literally, insane. Literally, number twenty. Um, maturing is realizing that confidence isn't they will like me, but it's yeah. rather I'm okay if they don't like me. Um, I sent you a video on TikTok. I don't think you watched it. I haven't watched it yet. Um, yeah, he's but he's basically, basically saying this, and I said, oof. But it's a word though. Like I, I feel love like where when I was growing up, it used to be like I really want these people to like me, and they will like me. Like I was confident in that. But then those situations when I'm not received the way that I wanted to be, mm-hmm. I'm stuck. <laughs> like no, like stuck. what what I went wrong? Stuck. Like that's it would mess me up because I'm just like oh my god. But like I was so confident that they'd like me. But in instances where they don't, I need to be okay with that. It's, yeah, there's confidence in that's what confidence really is in those situations where I'm not received or I don't get the job or this that and the other. It's fine, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was my number twenty. We need to do twenty one. Okay, so twenty one is if you have the capacity to help people, do it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Always, that's guys. Nothing. Okay, I lied. Um, obviously, be smart in that decision to help. Mm. Know it's in your capacity. Sometimes the help is not in your capacity. That's the key, if though. If it's not in your capacity... Then what are uh, you doing there? Respect. Yeah, I can't help you. You have to raise yourself. <laughs> I can't help um, you. I'm so sorry. Um, I was going to... I said that and I stopped because I had the example of, like, you know, like, intervening in a fight outside or intervening outside. Yeah, but that wouldn't be within your capacity. Exactly. You're not trained to do that. So exactly. Some people are always like, oh, well, why, didn't, why didn't the people help? And it's just like, well, they didn't help because they don't have the capacity to help. Mm. Like, that's, don't put yourself in positions that you don't need to be in. If you know that this is something you can take in mm-hmm. your heart, mm-hmm. then do it. Yeah. There is nothing, nothing bad will ever come from helping someone in which you have the capacity to do yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, mentally... Physically, financially. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, Next. 22. <laughs> 22. Choose the light. Um, there's always, almost always an upside. So like yeah. pessimism is only going to stunt your progress and stunt your capabilities. Like try and be positive and remain positive. Um, so yeah, that was me. Um, 23. No, we messed up. This is 24. Oh, yes, it is 23. Ah, okay. I ain't mess up. No. I mess up. I mess up. <laughs> it is 23. Damn. Um, so I said this is a big one for me mm. and is learning how to like relinquish control. Okay. Um, so trying to control everything will cost you a lifetime. Mm. I said you can only control what you can mm. and everything cannot be controlled. Yep. So. 24 um, is choose to show up. So giving things 100% 
all the time and when you can um we quite easily like get distracted and like like giving 100 percent becomes quite rare mm-hmm. but it's important to be present in your own life and to show up for yourself for the people around you but like most importantly for you like you have to make sure that you're showing up yeah and choosing to do so um because the moment you choose not to damn things will just be passing you by you might lose so much from choosing <laughs> you miss not out to show so up. much so yeah um be present be present our final one 25 drum roll please <laughs> 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 oh my um, days but this is what i thought of 25 just based on everything that we had said mm. um i think it ends nicely especially based on what you said about choosing yeah. to show up um Choosing love, mm. choosing to love in the places where you can. Mm-hmm. Friendships, family ship, <laughs> fellowship, yeah, romantic relationships, yeah. Um, joking, every relationship that you're in, try yeah. and try and move with love, yeah. Um, because we we, I used to think of love as a feeling. Mm. And then we had discussions we about had a, it. We spoke about it. This I remember like this was years ago. Oh my back. god! <laughs> Maybe like old Kent Road. <clears throat> yeah, time ago. Time Ages ago. ago. So when Maybe I was even still before doing then. my undergrad. Um, um, but we decided that love is a choice. Yeah. And ever since we decided that love was a choice, I have never forgotten it as mm. being a choice. Mm. And I see it as a choice because God chooses to love us. Yeah. Even in our madness, He chooses to love us the same. It. That's literally. Um, it. There's a there's. In Corinthians, we know that um, love is defined. Yeah. Um, and it's defined and by qualities and doings and verbs. Like Those are choices. You have, you to, have be to be kind. Faithful. You have to be patient. Yeah. You have <clears> to keep <throat> no wrongdoing. You have to keep no record of wrongdoings. Bro. Like, it's a it's choice a to do verb. all these it's things. It's doing words. Do you get it? Like, to love, yeah. It's not something that you just feel or be. It's not a noun. It's a verb. You can you feel in love, and that's fine. Yes. But I don't think that For is the reality love. of love. Exactly. Like, the reality of love is choosing to to be interested in that person all the time or choosing that person mm. each time. Mm-hmm. And guys, mm. you can love from a distance as well. Don't say because I'm saying that you should choose love all the time. You now engage in situations in that are not the, healthy. That are not No. That's not the case. That don't apply, edify you. We have to apply wisdom. Wisdom. Um yeah. wisdom and is like, knowledge. You can Knowing love from when a to use that knowledge. And so on and so forth. So yeah, use absolutely. that knowledge. <laughs> but I think we both agreed that twenty five should be choosing love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the relationships that you have absolutely that's it guys thank you so much for listening for listening i hope um, you guys enjoyed that hope you guys enjoyed those 25 you know lessons are yes. helpful um we will be back soon at some point to talk about something else but in the meantime please join the sistership if you will um yes, at sistership sir. pod on tiktok on instagram on twitter on everything really even on youtube help us subscribe watch the video listen to the pod and share with friends give us a cheeky little you know five star review <laughs> give us a like um, give us but a yeah what's that one retweet we repost yeah repost a on share. Twitter. yeah repost now because it's not retweet anymore since we've changed to x but nonetheless <laughs> thank, thank you for you. listening guys we will see you guys soon bye Mwah.